avoid the skin changes associated with diabetes. You've just been diagnosed with type 2 diabetes and you want to know and you haven't noticed any skin changes yet and you would like to know what can I do to avoid having these changes. I would first start out with making sure that you get on proper diabetes medications, that you see somebody that specializes in diabetes, whether it be your primary care provider who has an interest in diabetes, a special interest, or whether your primary care provider sends you to a diabetes specialist to start off your care, I would certainly want you to be on medication to control your blood sugars and to have the best possible control. If you have a tendency to be overweight or if you are significantly overweight, I would immediately start getting counseling on how you can go about setting up an exercise program and a diet. There are diabetes educators that are available to help you set up such programs. I would take real good care of my skin in that any breaks in the skin, I would make sure that I took care of them at the beginning stage as opposed to waiting, them, waiting for them to break up into open sores. If you notice anything that looks like uh, a red tender uh, area that's getting larger, make sure that you get treated. Don't wait. This could be a boil or an abscess that you want to get treated. You want that to be opened and drained as quickly as possible to prevent further infection, deeper infections. You want to make sure that you see the podiatrist. Foot problems are going to be a major problem. So make sure you see the foot doctor, make sure they take care of any uh, dystrophic or abnormal looking nails. The nails need to be trimmed. The skin needs to be checked. If your skin is dry and peely and cracking, you need to use lots of moisturizer to it. Uh, there'll be, there will be certain changes that you cannot avoid unless you, get, you have started early enough to get your diabetes under control. If your diabetes has progressed to the point where vision is a problem, where your kidneys are affected, where your sensation is infected, then I think that you're almost assuredly along the lines of having skin problems too because all of these tend to be somewhat related in affecting small blood vessels.